We are out here today with two separate urban forestry crews that work with the Student Conservation Association. Under the community umbrella, they focus on conservation and environmental projects in Indiana, as well as in the south suburbs of Chicago, specifically in East Chicago, Hammond, Whiting, and Gary. Basically, we go throughout and around uh, Northwest Indiana and the Calumet region and plant trees uh, that's native to the region and care for them for the first few years of growth. We plant about 45 to 46 different species of trees. From the help of many community volunteers and local staff, the team since 2017 has planted a little over 3,200 trees and we're expecting to plant about 500 additional this fall. So that's quite a big impact for a region. That's also working in partnership under the community umbrella with a variety of other local groups that are also participating in urban forestry effort. I think as a whole, we've probably planted closer to six or 7,000 trees in this region. Planting the tree is probably the easiest part. After the tree is planted in the ground, you have to care for it. They are responsible for doing the maintenance and the care for those trees after they've been planted through watering, mulching, pruning, checking for signs of disease. I'm not just going to go and do some easy work. It's, you know, it's hard work, but honestly, I love, I love doing it. It's a really good, really good job. My favorite part of the job is probably Probably planting the trees, just because it's such a visual metaphor for, you know, giving back to the future. Just kind of step back, look at the trees, and just, you know, know that in 10 or 20 years that it's going to be, you know, more mature and start giving back. The 3,200 trees that this team has assisted with planting are extremely important to this region for many reasons. These trees are helpful in removing pollutants out of the atmosphere. These trees are planted often for reducing noise pollution. Trees are also selected for certain locations for just general greening and beautification efforts. There is a lot of research and science beginning to understand that people often feel healthier and happier living on a tree-lined street and in a tree-lined neighborhood versus a neighborhood without trees. Trees help to reduce levels of stress or anxiety or even rates of domestic violence in certain neighborhoods and communities. My favorite part is being able to help the community. Um, so being able to go to the parks and being a part of something that uplifts the community. We have a lot of young people who do a conservation experience through SCA and you know maybe they don't go off to start a nonprofit and that's okay, but they still, through that experience, feel like it gave them an opportunity to create change where they live and see the changes that are happening from the work that they've physically done. A lot of our efforts are focused in some economically challenged parts of our cities that we serve and we place a lot of importance on hiring local young adults in that we want individuals to not feel like they need to seek opportunities outside of where their home is. We want people to keep those valuable resources in their local cities and also provide them the opportunity to physically be the ones that are making their communities better through this conservation work. They can do much more than maybe they've been told or that they knew they had the power to do. And sometimes that just comes from working on a project that has a lasting impact beyond just in that moment. It really is just a strong message that if you invest in something, it can really flourish.